Today we're working on a 2011 Subaru Forester X. We installed an aftermarket stereo system. We also installed a backup camera that's in a different video. Be sure to watch that. And now we're gonna be replacing the speakers in the front door panels and the rear door panels. To remove this door panel, first thing we wanna do, there's this thing with a screwdriver, pop it out. And then here too, pop that out and there's two Phillips screws, we wanna get those out first. Once those are out, this trim piece needs to come out. You can see in the front, it has a spot for a screwdriver. You can use a screwdriver or something to get in there. It's in there pretty tight, so you might feel like, oh, I'm gonna break something. Just keep, keep pulling, it'll come out. They're pretty stiff in there. But that's the next thing to come out is this uh, piece here. You can see it's just these clips uh, holding it in. So once that's out, we can go ahead and disconnect these two connectors and set this aside. Next, we want to take these two screws out. Now that those are removed, the whole panel can just pop off. Right here, you can feel uh, uh, right here. Underneath, there's a spot to get a screwdriver or uh, something in there to pry. And then it, it all pries. And you want to be careful because when you pry off, this is connected. So you're going to want to disconnect it from the back. Now that all the tabs have been pulled, you can see it's just flopping there. And then you can lift up and then out. And then hold on to it while you reach down to get that little connector. So now you can just leave this door panel here. You don't have to take anything else off because all we want is to get access to that speaker. So now we can take the speaker out. It's three Phillips, one, two, and then one on the other side. We also disconnect this connector there. Now the speaker should just pop off. And that's it. You don't need anything else in here. If you notice the old speaker has one, two, three uh, screws for mounting. The new speaker has four screws for mounting. So what you'll need to do is get an adapter. This right here is an adapter kit for this vehicle. So it has the three screws or screw slots. One, two, three to mount onto the door. So that's what the adapter plate looks like on the vehicle and I don't have it tight because I have a harness adapter. It just makes installation so much easier. These are on Amazon or, or anywhere you can find them online. But this plugs into the factory harness and then you have the two ends for the speaker. So before you tighten this plate down you just want to slide these back behind that plate because the speaker will, let me show you this, these speaker connectors will be recessed in here. So it has to, you have to route this behind the plate and it gives you enough space behind there that when you tighten this down, it won't squish the wires. So don't worry about that, but it does need to route behind the plate. So now the harness is hooked up, it's hooked to the speaker. You can see there's oh, plenty of room here. So now we'll just, put the speaker in here and then you'll see it has uh, little holes every so often. So you want to find the four that match up and then they give you uh, these little screws that'll just screw right in and that's it. So that's it mounted. You don't need the grill on it. The door panel acts as a grill. Test the speaker before you button everything up and that's it. This is the driver's side, passenger side is done the exact same way. So now the easiest way to put this door panel back on is by removing this little wing thing here. There's just one clip inside. So pull on it, it'll come out. So now the panel can go on the top first. It'll rest in here in this little window slot and then line up where the pins go and then just push it in and it'll all lock together. So now the back panel comes off very similarly you have that and that screw to start with. So those two to start, and then we'll pull this up and off. Once you have those two screws out, just like the front, you wanna pop this off. And it's the same way, just up on the front, and it's in there pretty good, so just give it a nice tug and it'll pop out. Once that's loose, then you'll have this one connector you pull out and then set this aside. This will give you access to those two screws. We'll pull that out. And then on the side, let's see, on the inside, yeah, right here, 
it gives you a lip that you can pull on. So just like the front, it's just clipped in. So we'll get these two off and then we'll pop the panel. So now that the panel's loose, we'll want to take this off. It pulls from this side, kind of like that out. You could pull it straight out, but you, there's, there's like a little hook on the back side that hooks it in. So it's best to pull like that and then out. So you see that piece has a one center clip, but it also has, you can see right here, that little lip and that holds it in right here and up here. So if you just pulled straight out, sometimes those will break. But if you pull like this and then out, it'll come out. Once that piece is off, now it's just a matter of pulling it up and then out. So we can just lay that aside. Now we have access to the speaker. And again, there's three, one, two, and then one on the other side. We'll pull that out. And this connector is on the inside. So we'll pull it out, then disconnect. You see the connector here, we'll just disconnect it. And then this is your garbage speaker and we'll get the same thing. We'll have an adapter for this and then we'll put the speaker in. Once the adapter plate is put in place, we can put our wiring harness adapter on. Then we can connect it to our speaker. Black is negative, white is positive. Once the speaker is bolted in, go ahead and test it before we put the door panel back on. To put the door panel on, you put the top in first so it can rest behind the slot in the window. Once you got it set in, just line up the clips on the sides, tap it in, and then the door panel is, is set. Last thing to do is put that screw in, that screw in, and then put the cast back on, and you're done. Enjoy your new speakers. Thanks for watching.